Hey guys, it's Tom here, and today we're doing a short video on Absentia DX by Todd Ao. Todd Ao has a long history in the audio post-production community. It's a place I always wanted to work when I was, um, you know, right out of college. And they have this tool called Absentia DX. It was made to help TV dialogue editors and mixers get through kind of the more common things that um, like EQ notching out hums and stuff like that that on a TV mix, you have to mix a 45 minute show in, you know, like a day or two days or a day and a half. And uh, it takes a lot of time to go through and notch out all the hums. So originally that's what it was made for. And they just released version uh, 3.2. Uh, one of the things they did is they moved to a subscription model, which I'm always like rolling my eyes at, you know, come on, man, let me own this outright. Um, but you know, I understand the need for subscription models for paying for development and that kind of thing. So kind of a little bit of a wrinkle there that they did that. But the new tool, it's pretty cool. Um, and I, it's saved me a bunch of time. I don't use it on every project, but it does certain things really well. So I wanted to talk about that and specifically what I use it for. So here's the website. I'm not sure if they do a trial or not. You can uh, go to their website and check out how much it costs. Here's the new user interface, which it was like kind of a gray, you know, pretty utilitarian thing. It's still utilitarian, but I can see they added a little bit of, of um, prettiness to it, I guess. So there's two ways that you can use Absentia DX. One way you can use it, which is what it was originally made for, is let's say you have your production conform session. So in other words, where you've imported all the mics with Titan or even the field recorder workflow and Pro Tools, and you have all the raw audio, you can point Absentia to the folder with those recordings and have it either overwrite the files. You can see there it pops up, this will overwrite the original files. Are you sure you want to do this? Or you can add a suffix to them, like you could call it ABS or whatever you want. So that's the first way to use it, is you just batch process all this audio and select what you want it to do, which I'll, I'll go through each of these down here. I don't really like using it that way because uh, even with the more conservative settings, there's certain types of noises that you can hear what Absentia is doing, and it doesn't always sound great. A lot of times it does, but uh, especially with male voices, if there's a hum down right around where their voice is, it's going to chew into that fundamental of their voice and that just it doesn't sound very good it thins things out a little too much so the way i use it is as an audio suite plugin in pro tools which they they do have uh, aax plugin I, i'm not sure if they have other types of plugins but since most of us are in pro tools you know aax is the way to go but i'll highlight uh, a range and zap out hums with it using the audio suite plugin so i don't normally use the offline process i've used it on i think one or two projects and I there was certain lines where I just had to go back to the original recordings because it did a little too much anything that's automatic it's going to do that I would say 90% of the time Absentia DX does a great job of zapping hums and rings so anything that's tonal even if it changes a little bit uh, that's what I use Absentia for so let's just go through the modules the air tone generator it's kind of like the ambience uh, match in RX, if, you, if you've used that to create tone. The air tone generator in Absentia will keep a lot of the movement and tone shifts in the file. So I've used it where I've taken the whole take, you know, three or five minute take, and processed that whole channel, like the boom channel, for example. And you can have it replace dialogue. You can have it replace all the noise. Uh, it looks like they've got two algorithms for this now, replace all natural and replace all flat. So it's it can be useful creating room tones. Uh, depending on the room tone it matches better than the isotope one so I'll, I'll probably play with this more and use it more for the next dialogue edit that I've done but I, I just used it on a bar scene for a feature where they shot on location and of course there's refrigerators and the mic moves around and it did a really good job of giving me just a three minute chunk of tone and I could snip out little sections here and there that I needed depending on where the shots fell in that time that three minute take um, phase synchronizer if you have auto align post you probably don't need this uh, it's kind of cool because this will I think this will do it on batch files so if you drag like a 5a take one and it's got eight tracks then you just select which channel is the boom and if it's a mono mix often it'll be two sometimes it's channel three sometimes it's eight 
and it'll synchronize the tracks to that boom channel, which is great if you don't have auto align post by sound radix. Uh, the range selector is a way to tell it, hey, I only want you to process this range. So if I know there's a Jenny hum between 40 and 120 hertz, you know, maybe it's got like one uh, harmonic, then I can do that. If it's a higher frequency, maybe it's an HMI ballast, I'll actually just do the range. I'll skip all the lows and just do the range where I know the noise is. Because like I said, it'll start to take away that fundamental, that low note that they have. Then you've got broadband reducer. I don't use this at all because I got cedar. Um, and then there's a Doppler remover, which I'll use for car buys and anything that has a pitch, air, an airplane going overhead, making that pitch drop. Uh, this Doppler remover is really nice for that. So it's got three different algorithms, medium, soft, and careful. I believe careful is new, so I'll have to check that out. The hum remover is like meat and potatoes. This is where I use Absentia DX the most. Right now it's set to smooth, and I found that for most hums, smooth works very well. Uh, strong will take out more. Tight gets, uh, according to the manual, will get hums that are tighter to the actual dialogue. And then electric engine can be good for stuff that has, uh, you know, like a Prius, or I've also used this for generator sounds where it's not a silence generator. It's not a movie silent generator. It's like a, you know, loud generator or anything that um, has kind of a repetitious nature to it. And then you've got EMI. This is great for EMI hits on lav mics or uh, interference from cell towers and that type of thing. Then we've got a tick remover. I found the tick remover also works really well uh, because there's not really settings you can tweak for it. You know, it's not as um, robust as like the isotope one, but it's also this one in Absentia is very transparent. And then brand new in 3.2, which is what they they um, pitched in the email is the birds reducer. I haven't tried this out much yet, but it seems like it does uh, do a decent job of reducing bird song in recordings. And it's got a sonogram. So if you wanted to analyze an audio file, you could do that. Uh, you can split interleaved into mono. So if it's like a polywave, you can split them into mono tracks and copy sound reports. That's really cool. You can select just the channels that you want to process. And it's got a history, which I haven't run anything through this in standalone. So it's got nothing. The main reason I updated to the new version of Absentia DX is for the new Pro Tools plugin, which no longer requires you to have Absentia DX standalone open. Uh, in other words, it doesn't round trip the audio to the standalone and bring it back into Pro Tools. It seems a lot faster to me. The The user interface matches the standalone plugin, so it's, it's a little more modern. It's got a little more meat on the bone. And it does have, it looks like, the new features. Uh, air tone generator, all that stuff is all there. And you'll see at the top of the window here, the numbers one through eight are hotkeys. So those are processing presets. You can set them up however you want for whatever project you're working on. Absentia DX is a no-brainer for professional re-recording mixers or dialogue editors. Uh, if you are a dialogue editor, make sure you check with the mixer to make sure they want you taking out hums. A lot of them like to do it themselves, so always check with the mixer. Um, but it also, I think, is worth a look for people who are just starting out who maybe don't want to pony up the uh, the big chunk of money for Isotope RX Advanced or Cedar. It does have broadband reduction. It does have tick removing. So, you know, that small monthly payment for some people is better than having to just fork over a bunch of cash. So final verdict on Absentia DX. Uh, let's rate it a 9 out of 13. It's very useful. Uh, it's not foolproof. doesn't do everything perfectly, but it does save a lot of time. So that's all the time I got today, guys. See you later.